Step one done, 5.55. That felt really good. So welcome back to another London Marathon training series video and this is the last one. So 20 weeks ago I set out on a journey to become as fit and fast as I could leading up to the London Marathon. I had an amazing year last year, I was so grateful, injury free, PB'd in all the distances I wanted to. I wanted to try and carry that on into this year but the London Marathon training block has not gone to plan however I am beyond grateful right now to feel like I'm in half decent shape so with that in mind we'll cover more of it at the end I want to dive straight in to this final taper session so welcome back to the London Marathon training series finale it's taper week it is the final week and today it's Wednesday, the race is Sunday, and it is my final session. There we go. There we go. The last warm up of the block. So, what have we got today? How am I feeling? All of that, all of that jazz. Feeling good today, feeling good this week, feeling good after the 5k, which official time is now 16.21, which does equal my PB, so I'm very happy. <laughs> uh, not quite a PB, but you know what? My word, after these last few months, I will take it. Um, four by a mile today, um, in and around marathon effort, maybe slightly quicker because you feel a bit fresh today, but nothing more, no more effort required. Um, I'm just gonna do four by a mile. It's exactly what I did before Newport on exactly the same day. Um, and I'm gonna take 60 seconds rest. So in theory, in theory, it shouldn't be too taxing. Um, we'll see how we go. I think for the Newport one, I ran high uh, 5.55s, so, you know, to sixes, I think, if I remember rightly. Uh, I did have a look last week. So uh, that's what I want to try and do again today, or just whatever, just get around marathon, marathon pace, marathon effort. Testing out the Alpha Fly 3s today. So they came uh, on the weekend or no, yeah, on Saturday. So just want to uh, give them a little spin so I can give you some thoughts on those. Um, see what they feel at marathon effort and marathon pace because ultimately they are a long distance shoe so i want to give them a good specific test hence why they're on my feet today so uh yeah absolutely buzzing can't wait what are we like four or five days now from london it is getting real so uh let's get on with this and of course we can't forget for one last time the fod 15 discount code a massive thanks to say sky for sponsoring this week's video of course it is the final week that they'll be sponsoring they'll be sponsoring the marathon training series but it really is getting to the last seven to ten days now between um before the discount code is switched off so if you want to grab any last bits for 15 percent off make sure you do it now now, if you saw my Bristol Track Club video, you will have seen the race kit that I will be using at London. So that is what I'm going to be wearing, the uh, sub whatever singlet, um, the flow. These are the combat shorts that I'm wearing now that I've been banging on about. Uh, I now have a flow version of those, which they're just a little bit lighter, uh, but exactly the same setup, same pockets. They're black. Uh, racing socks from the flow collection. Um, and then my Saucony Endorphin Elites for the shoes. So uh, yes, that is the kit that I'm going to be wearing for London. Um, yeah, grab some now. Ford 15 gets you 15% discount. You know it. I don't need to keep repeating it, how great their stuff is. I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. I know a lot of you guys have grabbed some bargains and I hope you can before this discount code goes. So a massive thanks once again to Say Sky for sponsoring this week's video. There we go. One mile, one of four. Let's do this. 20 weeks ago, I did not envisage myself here. I know training blocks fly. I've been here a million times before. But at 20 weeks ago, when I was thinking, build the base with Will and then lead into some good training. And then that good training was kiboshed by illness. Uh, I didn't think I would be at this point now, to be perfectly honest with you. I didn't think I would feel the way I do right now. I thought it was game over. So these four miles, I am absolutely gonna soak them all in and appreciate every single step. Let's do this, come on.
There we go, first one done, 5.57. Perfect, exactly where I wanted it to be. Number two done, 5.57 again. Uh, headwind coming back this way. Uh, that made me realize why the first one felt so good. Obviously the women's behind me, so uh, we've got that again now, and then one more headwind. Third one done, 5.55, really good. That felt really good, but then I had the wind behind me. So last one with a headwind. There we go, last one, 5.55, so 57, 57, 55, 55. Exactly what I wanted. Um, yeah, absolutely buzzing. And can't believe that that is the end of the workouts in Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Four days time, I'm gonna be out there on the streets of London. So uh, that was a good little simulator. Heart rate stayed nice and low by the look of it. Um, yeah, good confidence boost. Let's get a cool down done. See you back at the office. So there we go, it couldn't have gone any better. Got home, uploaded the run to Strava, did the school run, got into the office, had a look on the desktop because I just like to analyse things when I get into the office. And uh, yeah, 153 beats a minute heart rate. So that gives me some good confidence uh, going into the weekend. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, I did this workout last, last time. You guys know that, you heard me say it in the video. Yes, I ran slightly quicker paces. Um, I had slightly longer recoveries, but my average heart rate for that one, uh, run a year ago was 157 beats a minute so three beats of, uh, four beats a minute lower this time on shorter recoveries it may or may not have something to do with the alpha fly threes i'm sure it did because i'm sure back for newport it was in the brooks hyperion max either way I just feel good. I feel confident in the fact that now my fitness has kind of slowly come back to me. And the 5K race last weekend just gave me some kind of hope. The problem is for me, I think going into this weekend is that, and I don't want to dwell on this, but of course I missed uh, the bulk period of where I should have been doing the most endurance work, those longer midweek workouts, those long run workouts. That's what I missed. So although my mileage doesn't look too bad, a lot of it is made up of easy, easy and moderate mileage. A lot of the key work uh, is just missing. It just didn't go to plan. But do you know what? I really don't care now. I feel good. My HRV is through the roof in terms of the best it's been since before January. Um, and my heart rate has completely dropped back to normal. And finally, I'm starting to feel like my old self again. So my plans for the weekend, I'm in blue wave one, uh, which is exactly what I was in last time. Um, I'm gonna be heading up there on Friday lunchtime to then go and grab my bib from the expo, get in and get out of there as quick as possible because Friday, I gather, is quite busy. And then Saturday morning, I'll be at Battersea Park doing a shakeout run at 9.30. Um, I've posted it out there. I'm planning to start in the, at the bandstand in the middle of Battersea Park and just do a 30 minute easy run. Um, and then I'm gonna shoot off and see my family off the train because they're all coming up on Saturday. Uh, but it'd be great if any of you are around to see you there. Not that you know, it's gonna matter when you see this because this video is going out on Saturday. But hopefully maybe one or two of you uh, made an appearance. It'd be great to share uh, some miles with you before the big day. And then of course, uh, I'm gonna do a couple of bits of touristy things with the family on early Saturday afternoon. And then I'm gonna head back and rest the legs for Sunday. Uh, so that's the plan for the weekend. We're gonna see how it goes. I've got the Insta360 uh, Go 3, my camera that goes on my hat. I'm gonna be taking you guys around London. So we will leave it there. That is it. This is the last training series video for London Marathon. I appreciate each and every one of you that has watched any of the episodes, has given this video a like, even a dislike, subscribed, shared it, commented. It means a lot. Been through a journey on this one, but I'm glad to be out the other side and lining up, hopefully, fingers crossed, get to Sunday uh, feeling good. Weather looks relatively good now. It was gonna be warmer. Now, as of today, when I'm recording this, it's now back down to 13 degrees. It was 17. Let's hope it stays at 13. 
that would be amazing that means that hopefully it won't be as uncomfortable uh, as it was potentially going to be and we'll just roll with it we're going to go to london we're going to have some fun i will see so many of you out there and i can't wait and i hope you all have great london marathons too so let's sign off here and I'll see you after the marathon. That's it from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider giving it a like, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. See you on the next one.